Hi, we're here talking about a water channel that was discovered on the eastern slopes of Mount Moriah in the city of David. Uh, here was a reservoir. The reservoir fed a water channel that was carved into the bedrock. A plaster channel had been uh, set above the bedrock and that fed water by gravity into room 1 and room 5 of the stone temple discovery uh, at the city of David. Now, the water channel sits behind these rooms, between these rooms, and this retainer wall that was built in order to reveal these rooms. Importantly, you see in this image here the actual plaster set in the channel. Uh, from those two locations here above the channel and below the channel, samples were taken. Those samples were processed by Cambridge University and by Wiseman University in a joint study. Um, it, the study also uh, took samples from all along the eastern front of uh, the city of David and in other locations as well. What was generally discovered is in the period 1790 before the common area through 1500 before the common era on this timeline. You can see it from sort of out here through to uh, around about here. There was very little population at all on the mount on Mount Moriah, uh, only in the around the Gihon Spring, around the spring exit to the valley floor, but not on top of the mountain. That came later. Now, the uh, important dates uh, that were relative relative to the discoveries here of the samples uh, in samples X on the level of X, which is of course a little bit further below the past the channel. One can see that the date range is 1615 before the common era through era through 1545 before the common era. Uh, if one looks at the date range is uh, quite a bit above the channel in uh, four samples U, one can see that it relates to 1445 before the common era and samples W and V, which are immediately above the channel uh, in the range of 1535 before the common era. Uh, the study concluded that uh, between 1535 and 1445, uh, that's from here until here, was the last time that the channel was used. Now, critically, uh, we look at the dates, the biblical dates, that uh, Jacob went to uh, Haran. He left his parents in Hebron. Isaac and Rebekah went to Haran. That was 2185 since creation, 1576 before the Common Era. Uh, he was there for 20 years. He left Haran and came back to uh, Israel, 1556 before the Common Era. That's when he arrives in the city of Shechem. Um, and then they make their way from Shechem uh, a few years later to uh, Beit El. Um, after they stayed in Beit El for a short while, they left because... Jacob's mother, Rebecca, was passed away in Hebron, and they left to go to the mother to to bury his mother. On the way, uh, Jacob's wife Rachel gave birth to their last son Benjamin. He was born in 2208 since creation, 1553 before the Common Era. Now, critically, what we find based on the dating of these samples is that the Latest X sample uh, was dated 1545. The W and V samples, which of course are closest above the man made uh, plaster of the channel, uh, were in 1535. Um, and then, of course, the sample U, which is quite a bit above the man made plaster of the channel, 1445. Uh, in the 30 year period that Jacob remained uh, in Israel after the birth of Benjamin, uh, until they left Israel to uh, immigrate to Egypt. Um, there was, uh, this was the last time that this water channel uh, servicing all of these rooms was used. In fact, the channel was built somewhere in this time frame, uh, no later than this example, no earlier than this example, used during the W and B period. Or between the X and the W and V period, uh, and 
uh, went out of use by the time we get to the U period. So certainly the overlap is uncanny, uh, highly unlikely that it would be anything but the water channel that Jacob built for the use of uh, these rooms, for the establishment uh, of the Matseva, which he had erected in room four. Um, and that means that this is Beit El, uh, the Beit El that Jacob established and named uh, in on the eastern slopes of Mount Moriah uh, when he left to go to Haran and 22 years later when he came back to Beit El to assume and take the name that God had given him, uh, which of course became the source of the name Israel.